Uh, we took some losses. We took some major losses. <laughs> but we, uh, we defeated the Danes. They ran away. So that's good. We like that. Really, all we need to do is protect Stockholm. Um, we don't actually need to, uh... We don't actually need to win battles or occupy Denmark or anything. So... Swedes got there in the nick of time. Love you guys. Alright. Civil War in Morocco! Poor Moroccans. Yeah, you stay here and get as much loot as you can, actually. I'm just gonna bounce him back and forth between these two provinces to get loot. Dare I go up to speed four? I dare. I'll keep a very close eye on anything coming from this direction. Just want to get all the loot that we can. Because the loot is good. Alright, they're coming down our way. Renewed alone, that's okay. Cossack modifiers. Fantastic. Smithian economics. Maybe should have waited for that to force colonialism to spawn in Rostov. But now we have Danes attacking the Swedish capital. Which we can't have. I'm also a little worried about pulling our men out of here, but we are gonna have... We are gonna have the Sudebnik button to hit, so I think we can safely do this. Declining power of the boyars. Got a good manpower reserve, as any Russian state should. Um, hmm. I'm wondering if we can just go after these Norwegian stacks and harass them to uh, take pressure off of... Take pressure off of uh, the siege, maybe. Okay, they're going to get there first. So that ended that siege, and we're going to win this battle before the Danes get here. Fantastic. That's perfect. Oh, no, we're not going to win before the Danes get here. Fuck. Alright, well, that was unfortunate. But, if we can be waiting for them in Stockholm... Of course our guys are going to retreat all the way back to freaking boonies. What's the supply limit here? 20? Okay, I bet we can defend the river. Yeah, they're going to retreat all the way back to Moscow. <laughs> uh, military leaders left us. Luckily it's not the one that is leading our forces currently in Sweden. Um... Okay, so that they won that. I'm going to transfer all these occupations to them. So, Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. And they're running away. Cool. Um, I'm supposing we can't get over... <laughs> we can't get over the, uh, the strait here, but as long as we protect Stockholm, we should be okay. I'm just going to grab our armies, bring them back over here, and make sure that we are in position to participate in any major battles where we might be needed. Okay, so we chased them off. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here to do. Took out another loan, oh, I guess because we're having to spend a lot of money to reinforce armies right now. Well, <laughs> it's a good thing we took that uh, inflation reduction idea, isn't it? Alright. Where is the Swedish army right now? Like, where, where, are, where did they even go? Okay, they're sieging northern Norway. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it works out for him.
Alright, uh, here's what we need to do. Which one of these stacks has a general? Neither one? Thought I recruited a new general. Alright, he's the worst general ever. But he's still better than no general. <laughs> we've got that, we've got that, and we are going to come up this way and reoccupy this. We're going to surround their asses. We're going to force them out of the country, it looks like. So we're going to put this guy here. They're going to head up north, maybe to try to relieve that siege. Oh, we could start occupying Norway. That's something we could do. It's June. Yeah, we could probably afford to do that. Um, where are their forts? So that's protected by the fort at Trondelag. So we should probably just do this. We should maintain a good force concentration down here. And then, yeah, that'll open up the whole coast. So that'll be nice. And we'll get more loot. We like loot. We're going to give all these occupations to Sweden, because we don't have any interest in any territories over here. So, there we go. Alright, so now they're getting a little tricky on me here. Now they're getting a little tricky. Tricky to rock around, as they say. Okay, so see, now they've got a 21 stack. And they're going to try to go have a fight in the mountains or something. But maybe if I can stop... Stop them from uniting with the Norwegian army. Re-liberate this province. I don't know what the Swedes are doing. We're going to take a shitload of attrition from this. Hopefully they can help me if I get attacked. Alright. Let's, let's force a fight. Let's see if we can force a fight with the Swedes. I'm going to allow friendlies to attach to this army. See, now they're getting close to my lands, and I don't want devastation happening in my lands. It's not something I'm cool with, actually. Over here in the freaking middle of nowhere, Finland. Okay, we're gonna force a fight. This fight's gonna happen. We have two separate fights. Oh man, our general died. And we lost. Wow. <laughs> that was a that was a pretty pathetic battle to lose. But our allies won and we got occupation over here. So we're going to transfer that to Sweden and now their capital is exposed. We need a new general though. He's not the worst general ever. He's not a very good general for this age because his shock value is so low. He's not a shock jock. Um, but occupying the Norwegian capital should be very uh, good for us. I'm not going to buy any techs until we've embraced the institution. Which is spreading quite slowly now because we're playing on speed 3. Yeah, I know I have units that suffer casualties. Obviously. Obviously that is a thing that happened. All right, so we're going to siege down Akershus. I think the Swedes can handle this at this point. I think their army is now bigger than Denmark, and... Oh, he's craven. Also, there's Catholic zealots rising up in Denmark. Did they go Protestant? Oh, yeah. So they're going to get flipped back <laughs> to Catholic, probably, because of this this war. See, but if you take Yemplund, you have to then go take Trondelag. That's not that's not an efficient 
means of waging war. That's all I'm saying. When does the age end? We got 24 months. We got two years left to save up a shitload of money. Uh, can't pay off any loans. And we're banking all of our admin power, and you'll see why. You will see why. There's going to be some sort of a battle happening here. Between one Norwegian regiment and... Oh, these guys. No? Yes? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't know. Alright. I think we I think we got this. I think we got this in the bag. Stopped our manpower bleed before we hit zero. We got some loot coming in. How's our, uh, how are our missionaries doing? Still doing well. No major danger of revolts right now. Uh, we can almost hit the Sudebnik button, which is my favorite of the Russia buttons so far. Poor quality copper. I am disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I would expect higher quality copper from my own copper smiths. Miners. We have won the Siege of Oslo, so we're going to transfer that to Sweden. And now we can march straight around the uh, southern tip of Norway here to Stavanger. Oh, did Sweden lose a battle? You fuckers. You goofs. You giant great goofs. Well, we're going to occupy a bunch of their shit, so... Is there a fort in Bergen? There's no fort in Bergen. Where is the next fort? The only other fort is in Trondelag. Alright! Swedish War for Independence has ended. Uh, Denmark will grant independence to Sweden. Norway will cede Jemtland, Bohusman, Uplanda, and Finnmark to Sweden. Denmark will pay 56 ducats. I will get 29 of those. So I had slightly higher than half war per, uh, participation. Um, nice. Four prestige. I get 2.1 of that. Sweden knows us 18 favors. We are going to use that to boost trust. And let's bring our boys home. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to stomp the Golden Horde again. So that'll be fun. Maybe we should wait for our manpower to recover. What's our current mission, by the way? Oh yeah, it's subjugate Kazan. We'll keep that. We'll keep that mission around for the free CBs until we're done with it. Um, we can pay off a loan. Let's go up to speed five. And Let's see, on January of next year we should be able to reform the Sudebnik. Circassia. So can we sell Sweden this province now? Sell province cola. Sell you some Coca-Cola. And we don't really want much for it because it's just a burden on us. There we go. Fantastic. So they can now have Laponia, and we will draw the rest of the borders here. Hopefully they'll want to sell us Viborg eventually, because I would really like to have Viborg. But other than that, our borders in the north are exactly where I want them right now. Uh, too few rivals is still a problem. Hmm, now that we're allied to Sweden, I'm not as worried. As, uh, about Poland as I once, once was, but I still want to get a little bit stronger before we go after them. Oh, well, now our manpower's bottomed out. So, let's do this, actually. Um, I'm going to keep my spy network there. Agent was discovered, of course. I should have fabricated the claim while I had the chance. 
Uh, recall diplomat. We're gonna put our diplomat on. Put him on threatening countries. And we're gonna bank money and admin power as much as we possibly can. Non possessor movement. Uh, we are gonna support the church authorities. Here we go Age of Reformation. Uh, Bohemia's got a golden era. We have none of these objectives finished yet. Colonial Empire, convert another nation, unify culture. Uh, so we would need to conquer basically all of Poland, Lithuania to finish that one. National decisions available. Yeah, we're going to do the Blasphemy Act for sure. Um, production stifled. Let's take the... the Inflation hit, and we'll manually decrease that. Oh, we're supposed to be banking admin power right now. Grand grain trade disturbances. There's always been tension between the Cossacks and other states, if nothing else, because they're uncommon manners and diverse backgrounds. Lately, however, the, these have increased considerably. The burgers are alarmed at the Cossack raids and claim that they are targeting shipments of their grain. The Cossacks themselves claim that they're only targeting the Tatars and brigands in the area, and that the burgers are simply mistaken. As there's little in the way of government representation in the area, it's difficult to ascertain the truth, but there is clearly friction between these two groups, and we're expected to either reprimand or sanction one side in this conflict. I'm obviously going to side with the Cossacks. Well, unless... Is their influence still super high? No, it's not. So I'm going to support the Cossacks, and then I'm going to grant some Monopoly Charters to keep the burgers happy. Um, so yeah, we can now get the Time of Troubles... Um, which just requires us to have stability less than zero. So if we were to declare a no CB war on the Great Horde, I have so little manpower though. Let's wait for our current ruler to die so that we can do it in one sweep. Because we'll have minus one stability from that, or, you know, if we get Comet sighted or something, obviously. Um, yeah, I know. Excellent! Converted some heretics. Because here's, here's the problem. Um, the conditions for internal conflicts and time of troubles are exactly the same. Um, so to keep internal conflicts from progressing, we have to have no unrest in our country. Um, so we might even need to hire an advisor for national unrest. Cossacks, protected raiders, okay. Diplomatic move. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's improve relations with the neighboring nation. Um, and we'll turn all of our forts off. I forgot to turn all of our forts off. Help us get out of debt. Kazan is not friends with Sabir. Yeah, we gotta pay off these massive loans so we can embrace an institution. Ah! Has the institution spread to... Moscow yet? Once it spreads to Moscow, we might as well just get loans and pay for it real quick. Uh, scold him publicly. <laughs> he already has really weak claim strength. Alright, so... That massively decreased the cost for embracing the institution, so we're gonna do that. Boom. Boom, boom. Got it. Um... Let's get workshops. Let's get Renaissance thought. Oh fuck, we're supposed to be banking admin power. I'm so fucking ADD when I play this game sometimes. Like I completely forget what my objectives were. Um, I'd like to take religious ideas, uh, but we need to take a non-admin group yet, so we're gonna take offensive. That actually boosted our income overall, I think. 